Hey, this is Micah. Um, we're over here at Dazzle Mountain Apiaries in White, Georgia. We're just making a video on what you should be doing coming up here in the fall after the, the honey flow, the nectar flow has happened. Uh, you need to start thinking about treating for mites. And I'm going to show you how to treat for mites with Apigard. Apigard is, a, is sort of a, a greasy gel that has thymol crystals in it. And when the bees, when it's, when it's put in the bees' hives, they, they don't like the smell of it and they want it out of their hive so they roll in it and to carry it out of the hive and when they roll in it it kills the mites that are on the bees. Uh, so and you have to be careful with it there's some certain rules that you need to abide by. You can read the label if you want but I'll just give you some pointers uh, some bullet points on how to use it. You don't want to use it when it's hotter, hotter than 77 degrees out and if you do have to use it if it's warmer than 77 degrees out you need to be very careful with it and use it in smaller doses. So below 77 degrees you can use it and the label says you can use up to 50 milliliters but we like to use in our apiary we like to use somewhere around 25 depending on the size of the hive. 25 milliliters of product. Um, the, the, it comes in a, a metal tin like this with a, with a foil cover on it and inside of this is 50 milliliters of product so if you want to use half of it, you just open the lid and you take your hive tool out and you scoop approximately half of it out and you can either wipe that 25 milliliters on the lid you peeled off or you can just get an index card, just a regular old index card and wipe it on that. Okay. So with one pack you can do two doses. Now you should be doing between two and three doses and you should be doing them about a, a week apart. So we're going to go inside the hive and show you where to place this and how to do it. So you just smoke your hive like regular, let them know you're here. So this hive's got a honey super on it and you don't want to do this at all when you have honey. You, you cannot consume or sell or whatever you want to do. You don't need to be using the honey when you use Apigard. If you need to treat for mites when you're trying to raise honey, you don't need to be using Apigard. So you need to get down to the brood chamber. This hive's got a queen excluder on it. Keep on going. Which you probably can't be treating for with Apigard with a queen excluder because it just takes away too much of your height. You don't you don't want your your product. Your product's going to be on here. You don't want your product touching the lid. Okay, so once you get down to the brood chamber, just smoke your bees down a little bit. So what you want to do is they're going to run away from this. And the queen, you want you don't want the queen to stop laying. She's going to go away from it also. So you want to treat the entire brood chamber, the entire nest. So you put it on one side and then you put your, your, your cover back on and, and walk away for seven days. And then when you come back the next week, you put another 25 milliliters or according to the size of your hive. If you have a weak hive, you need to put a little less. And then you move it to the other side. So what you're trying to do is run the bees back and forth away from this so they just don't crowd one corner and ignore this. You want them to take that out of the hive and spread it all through the hive. And then your third week, I do it for three weeks, your third week you put it over here and they they end up taking it out of the hive. You leave it in for seven days each treatment. And that's treatment of Apigard on a 10 frame Langstroth 5. You can also do it on a 5 frame. You just have to use less. Make sure you guys leave some comments and let us know what you think and uh, we'll answer your comments. Thanks.